All right, I'm here again, guys, <coughs> with part three of this bounty video. Yeah, it's not one video, but part three of it anyway. Part one, bounties and uh, the Chamber of Night mission. And part two was me showing you, like, I don't know, half of my uh, usual uh, hive b uh, bounty run, where you can also do normal bounties. Vanguard bounties and um, this is part three bounties and um, patrol missions because uh, there's uh, one of these in uh, each uh, stock of bounties you know the stock refreshes there you go you get uh, six new uh, Vanguard bounties and one of them is always that you have to complete six patrol missions on a given uh, destination. This time it's on the moon. And um, as you've probably already guessed, we are going to choose the moon, choose patrol the moon and go there. So, I uh, realized a couple of things between this video and the last one. And uh, one of them is that the uh, sound of my game is a bit too high uh, you know uh, you, some of the time you couldn't hear what uh, I was saying I've tried to fix that I don't yet know if it had worked I will after this video and as you have probably already also guessed I uh, don't speak Let's scout the area and see what we can find. It will get better. The more videos I make, I just need to uh, refresh it. And third of all, uh, you've probably also realized that uh, these videos that I make are for beginners in the uh, Destiny world. Uh, as I don't really seem fit to uh, to give advice to you know experienced players so uh, take all of this as guidelines if you're new to destiny and uh, use it yeah all right so uh, patrol missions you find uh, one of these beacons if you uh, press your touchpad on the ps4 at least you uh, go to uh, nav mode and you can see them all over the place and the distance to them they are blinking like this, you go up, you hold your button and you get the mission. Move bounty on a bunch of targets, sending the details. Then you press your uh, touchpad again to see the details. Scour the lunar surface for enemies of the city. Alright, this uh, patrol mission... In this patrol mission I just need to uh, kill any enemies on the moon. And there's another player, so they're probably not even a single enemy up here right now. Oh, there's one over here. Somewhere down here. No? Up here? There it is. Um, the only thing I've uh, done since the last video is that I have uh, quickly completed the two bounties I was doing Knuckle Duster and uh, Overcharge and uh, yeah I took some uh, Fallen uh, Majors down too uh, to do this bounty you just go anywhere that has Fallen Majors old rush you know missions or uh, strikes are a good place and uh, you just kill them it doesn't matter if you die or not uh, this is the one we're working on and this one is another mission with a heroic modifier like I showed you with Telfor the Unborn um, in the first video uh, So you just do that with the Shrine of Forex mission Yeah, I'm not gonna show you that one. It's uh, It's exactly like the other uh, Well, the mission's not but the concept is so you get it so yeah, let's uh, go find some enemies and uh, kill them. 
I'm uh, just gonna show you like three patrol missions because uh, then you'll, you'll get the concept. Now, I don't kill those enemies because that guy behind me seemed kinda into it. So I'll just go in here. The other end of Kota Center as I was uh, talking about. They are majors also, if you uh, need to go high major holes, there are two right here, there are at least two more inside the temple. And um, you can see this one is uh, its quickly over with, not a long patrol mission, I'm almost uh, halfway done and I've killed like what, four enemies. Um, so I'm just gonna kill, you know, five more. Uh, probably a bit more. And um, now I can show you when uh, you're done with a patrol mission. It goes like this. You reach 100%. And it comes up complete. So now you uh, just go out and pick another one. Yeah, kind of chose a bad place to kill the last enemies. But then I get to talk even more, so... Yeah, I think. Um, well, as said, these videos are for beginners. I'm uh, going over all these basics. And I realized that in the first video I probably should have explained what bounties are and what they are good for. I re now realized that I forgot that. So I'll just do it now. Bounties, uh, well, you do them to gain reputation with uh, the faction that is, you know... Uh, giving the bounty. The bounties I've completed in these three uh, videos are uh, Vanguard bounties. And so uh, I gain a reputation with the Vanguard. I get like 50 to 100. Uh, that sounds wrong. I get like from 50 uh, uh, experience the Vanguard to a hundred experience with the Vanguard uh, per uh, bounty completed. I'll show you uh, how you turn them in. Uh, so it's not difficult at all. It's, uh, it's easy done. I'm just kind of walking through a uh, yeah. A, Never mind. I don't remember what it's called right now. I'm kind of, you know, both have a little anxiety because I'm uh, doing videos and it's still new to me. And, um, well, I have to keep talking so I, I'm not Could thinking. Use a ghost analysis on a few things in this area. Bounty encryption will follow. And then I have to speak English as well, so, yeah. Yes, um, this bounty structure scan. Uh, so I just go to uh, the place. It's shown on my radar. I just follow that, and I scan whatever the thing is, and it should uh, just come up at 100% right away, and the bounty is done. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, I, uh, oh, that's good, too far, okay, it's up there, right down here, no, yeah, scan environment, and done. All right, and you just Good do, job. Uh, you Benji know, will appreciate it. four more uh, patrol missions and then you get uh, that bounty completed too. I'm just gonna go to orbit, go to the tower and show you how to turn your bounties in. 
So uh, this video is gonna uh, be a little shorter than the two last ones, but I, I you know, can't drag it out anymore. <laughs> Plus, it's uh, getting kind of boring just sitting here talking about bounties. Um, you can get uh, bounties with the uh, Vanguard, Erismon, House of Judge. Uh, I'm not really sure about that right now, but Queen's Wrath, at least. I haven't done uh, very much gaming in this uh, new expansion. I'm actually, yeah, I thought so. Uh, I don't believe there's bounties for this one. I'm not sure anyway. Uh, these ones you uh, get your um, experience with uh, by uh, wearing their uh, their gear, class gear, I believe. Then you farm all the um, reputation you would get. It will go to uh, those factions, and the cryptarch. Well, you gain rep by uh, uh, decoding engrams with them. Engrams you uh, pick up. Throughout the throughout the game, the enemies drop them, and well, where I am at, all the green ones are decoded at once when I pick them up. The blue ones here, decoherent engram, it's gloves. I just go to the cryptarch I'll give you and he'll decode it. I'll yeah, probably well. do a video on that. Careful. Lot of life, nice. Um. So, turning your bounties in, you go up here to the Bounty Tracker, it's also where you picked up the bounties, you approach him, and your complete ones pop up down the bottom, and you just you just click him. Claim reward. Done. I got 250 experience with the Vanguard. That's nice. Pretty standard. And, um, yeah, I actually believe that was it hmm Dead or the package even quicker than expected not bad so yeah I, that's what I that's what I have in bounties and like you um, you don't need to farm these <coughs> you don't need to farm these past a, a certain uh, Reputation gain, you know. You are changed. With Erismon here, I'm rank three, and I can really the only thing I can't get is uh, some class items and a uh, shader. And I don't really need the class item because I bought the one f I could when I was uh, rank two. She has uh, she has some uh, other kind of bounties. So is uh, hers are all hive minded. And uh, one of them that comes on and off, it's that you have to wear some of her uh, class gear and uh, kill a bunch of hive enemies. And well, once you've just unlocked rank 2, you could just take that and you go from there and you... Uh, oh, rank 3 to get radiant energy, you might need that, I don't know. And uh, radiant shot. But only rank 3 to get Embalming Orb and Rune Core, which you are using to upgrade a weapon I will do a video on later. So yeah, right now I don't need any more rep with her, so I've kind of stopped Everyone. farming it so, uh, so I can farm for the uh, new expansion. And the, va the Vanguard I just keep farming uh, rep with, because, um, yeah, you know, because I... Uh, I kind of like to see, you know, what the uh, full reputation level is and, another day, another battle. you know, what you okay, get for getting into it. See, Vanguard rank 2, you can buy the gear. I don't have uh, enough marks for this new expansion 2 gear, but I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna show you where to get your marks too. And you can buy emblems in rank 1 and rank 2. So. Yeah, I'm rank 11. I don't really need any higher ranking with them, you. but uh, it's just uh, good sports. And you know, like I said in uh, one of the past videos, I'm kind of an uh, achievement hunter. So yeah. Um, 